Hello, I'm Shailen Bat, Federal Highway Administrator, and I'd like to tell you about a new funding program that can help make our roads, bridges, transit, rail, and ports more resilient and thus resistant to climate change. This funding comes from the Bipartisan Infrastructures Laws Promoting Resilient Operations for Transformative, Efficient, and Cost-Saving Transportation Discretionary Grant Program, also known as the PROTECT Discretionary Grant Program. Every community in the United States knows the impacts of climate change and extreme weather, whether it's record rainfall in California, flooding up and down the Mississippi River, hurricanes forming with increasing frequency as far south as Puerto Rico and as far north as Delaware, or wildfires that are no longer limited to a defined season, but have instead become a constant threat to more and more Americans. In the past, a lack of investment in transportation meant we had to make hard choices about how to best keep people safe while preparing for the future. However, thanks to President Biden's $1.2 trillion bipartisan infrastructure law, we now have the chance to tackle the most pressing challenges of our time. The $1.4 billion Protect Discretionary Grant Program is a key part of how we can rise to one of those challenges, as it will help us make our surface transportation more resilient and resistant to climate change. This discretionary grant program will support planning activities, resilience improvements, at-risk coastal infrastructure, and community resilience and evacuation routes. A wide range of applicants, including planning and project organizations, state and local governments, and tribes can apply for PROTECT grants. This discretionary grant funding comes on top of $7.3 billion from the PROTECT Formula Program. Both of these programs were created by President Biden's bipartisan infrastructure law, and PROTECT Formula funding is already flowing to states and helping to build projects across the country. We must enhance the resilience of our transportation system so that it will withstand the climate challenges we face. Natural hazards are growing more frequent and severe, which is why we at the Federal Highway Administration are so passionate about this program. By preserving our assets, both physical and financial, we can keep our infrastructure strong and fulfill our most important duty, getting you where you need to go and getting you there safely. If you are part of a state, city, metropolitan planning organization, or tribe, and have a project you know fits the Protect Discretionary Grant Program's criteria, I encourage you to apply. Go to the FHWA website to learn more today, and thank you very much.